What's going on guys? Venom here from GameFuse and <clears throat> what we have here is a new equivalent exchange install video. It's made by, well it's not made by, but it's being updated by a different guy than the original creator. And it's been quite a while since I made one of these um, install videos for you guys, but um, here we go. So what you want to do is head over to this forum. I'll link it in the description for you and then scroll down. Right here, we're going to need Risugami's mod loader. Take you over here and download right here, download AdFly. Going to need that. Um, Forge, click on that link and click on this one Minecraft Forge download May 26th. Newest one, click on that one. Or is the date today? No, it's not. Okay, never mind then. But yes, you're going to click on that Minecraft Forge download May 26th. Then you're going to click on this one, Client. Do not click Server unless you're installing Server. Click on Client. Click here, wait for that to finish. Hit, skip add, and then that's all you need. So after you download those three, I already have them downloaded. First thing you're going to do is go to percent, app data, percent and this minecraft dot minecraft folder right here first what you're going to want to do minimize right click on your desktop make a new folder go to your saves folder any saves that you have in here that you want make sure you put them in this new folder because you're deleting this if you I don't comment on here saying that you deleted your saves because I'm telling you right here how to so after you do that go back and go to your dot minecraft right click on it hit delete then you're gonna wanna run minecraft log in and it's gonna install the updates come on Okay, you're going to download all this. While that downloads, we can go to our downloads and open up Mod Loader. Getting a little lag there on the mouse. Um, open up Minecraft Forge. And then keep your downloads folder open because you're going to need to get this right here ee client ee2 client v 1.4.5.1 and then close minecraft after it finishes updating go back to your app data go to dot minecraft bin in this minecraft not there might be one that's minecraft 1.2.5 make sure you click on this one my just minecraft right click open with winrar archiver delete meta inf delete files yes and then mod loader you're going to click in mod loader push control a or i think it's command a on a mac but press control a so it selects everything in there drag them into your jar. Make sure you don't drag <laughs> jar into mod loader. Make sure you drag mod loader into jar. Close mod loader. Do the same thing for Minecraft Forge. Then close all of this. And then now that you're at your dot Minecraft right here, go back and where you have bin resources saves and the rest of that, right click new folder and call it mods no capital just mods go in there and now this ee2 client version 1.4.5.1 drag that in there and then close your downloads folder and I'm not sure if you'll have to read the form but just to do your saves back in all you do go into your saves folder Take here and 
drag it in. Just like that. That's how you get your world back. I'm not sure if the old version is new with, or is compatible with the new one, but that's what you're going to do. Then we'll launch Minecraft. And as you can see, create new world just because I don't know if it's compatible. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to find anything to know that it is in, but yeah, I don't have I didn't install too many items, but it ran, it's in. It's a lot easier than the old way you old way you used to have used to have to install quite a few other mods. But there you guys go. Um, I'll put I'll put a link in the description for a Minecraft error test. That way if you guys have problems you can post on the forums because I am not a modder and I don't know what causes problems. But um, subscribe, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, I'll put an error test in the description that you guys can download and put your results on the forum if you have any problems. And that'll be it. Thanks for watching, guys.